WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks, to the 4 p.m. stock market update. This is Jacob Shub filling in for Tom O'Brien. We'll take a look. We, we closed green today, which is nice. Right now, currently in the E-mini, we're up about 0.9%. The Russell, up about 1.8%. Uh, NQs, up about 1.23. The Dow Futures, 0.8. Gold, uh, flat right now at 2,312. Again, we just had Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle, <laughs> Ord Oracle on. Uh, that archive will be up on our YouTube channel uh, a little bit later today. Silver at 2689 and then copper at 450. Now, crude oil right down at 7897. I want to tell a quick story about that, which is really interesting. However, the Dow DJT Trump Media Group uh, is up 7.8%. Now, I, I don't know if this is from like short covering or what uh, because this stock is so heavily shorted, um, but I thought it was interesting. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, tomorrow morning. Now, what I wanted to say was the FTC is accusing the ex-Pioneer CEO of colluding with OPEC and blocks him from the Exxon board seat. This is nuts, okay? So the Federal Trade Commission on Thursday accused the former Pioneer Natural Resources CEO of colluding with OPEC to raise prices and barred him from serving on the Exxon Mobil board of directors once its planned $65 billion acquisition of Pioneer closes. So it, Attempted Scott Sheffield attempted to collude with representatives of OPEC to reduce oil and gas, gas output in an attempt to increase prices at the pump and inflate pioneer profits. Decided to refer the allegations to the Justice Department for potential criminal investigation. The FTC has responsibility over to refer, okay, right? In response, Exxon agreed to keep Sheffield off its board and expects the deal with Pioneer to close Friday. Private conversations, high ranking OPEC representatives, it's like a movie. This is not a one-off event, but rather part of Sheffield's sustained and long-running strategy to coordinate output reductions. And Lisa Kahn said that. That's the FTC chair. Uh, they pushed back against the allegations, a fundamental misunderstanding of the U.S. and global oil markets. Sheffield never intended to circumvent the laws and principles. Never intended to. Right on. That is actually a pretty crazy uh, story, I would say. I just wanted to get that to you guys before the end of the day because I thought it was interesting. Maybe you can look a little bit more into it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. I believe I'll be filling in tomorrow for Tommy at 9 a.m. That is the morning market kickoff. Then we have Basil, Steve Rhodes, uh, Larry Pesavento, and then Tom O'Brien. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow morning.